right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Uh, today our topic is about calendar. Uh, you know, uh, all of us we knew, and nobody can even argue about that, that Allah is the most intelligent, the most uh, knowing. Uh, he's actually not most knowing, he's all knowing. I mean, which means like you... If you ask him a question, he have the answer. Any any question doesn't matter. So this Allah who is all knowing and Allah knows best. Yet Allah, His calendar is eight days in seven week, seven seven uh, sorry eight days in one week. Which is really amazing. I mean, it's normal to happen. I mean, if you are Allah, things happen. To make it short, if we go in the Quran and we read it chapter 41, start reading from verse number 9. You can read verses before it, but as usual, Quran is a stupid book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. So you will not miss a lot if you don't really read from the beginning. However, uh, just for disclaimer, so the Muslim will not say, oh, you are misquoting, etc. You can read as many verses as you want before it. And you will find that this is a very funny, stupid book. In chapter 41, actually, verse number 3, it says that this book, verses are explained in details. Is what? Is explained in details. Uh -huh. It is explained in details. So why you Muslim don't agree about the meaning of the Quran? And why the Quran itself says that there's many verses in the Quran nobody knows what they mean save Allah and what is the where is the explanation for the Quran as long as the Quran is explained in details hmm. to see to show you how much explained in details <clears throat> Look how stupid the verse after it. And this is the Muslim translation. Bashiran Nadiran. Fa'arid. You know, okay, with translation. Giving a glad tiding between two brackets of paradise, yeah, the versions and their panties off, yeah. I.e. Islamic monotheism, uh huh. And fear of Allah, okay. All kind of sin or deed. This is all, is, is, this is addition. This is just to explain. You see the between the bracket? I mean, the verse before it, it says that the Quran is explained in details, but the Muslims have to add twice more than the size of the verse to make it clear for us. Let me show you how big the verse in Arabic. Do you see how big it is? This is the verse which is clear in details. And look how big it is became in English because it's so clear, man. It's so clear. How many words are it is in Arabic? Let us count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will uh, we will make count this as as a, as a word and seven. Okay, so seven. If we count la as a word, and this is all to explain seven words. But yet the, the book is, in, is clear. Okay. Now, to tell us at the end what? Stay away from them, they don't listen. So all of this to tell us, stay away from them, don't listen. What the heck is that? Allah advising Muhammad to stay away from them, they don't listen. What a great missionary. Then he say, <clears throat> and they say our heart are under uh, coverings. Hmm? They say that? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is this is really the most stupid. Oh, anyway, this is not my topic, really. And when they ask Muhammad, 
about why you don't have miracles, why you are just, you know, uh, uh, like somebody, uh, big mouth, but you have nothing. He says, tell them I am just a human being like you. Oh, really? I'm really surprised. I thought you are a camel or something. It is only an inspiration come to me from Allah. And look here, how they write the word uh, ilahakum. Ilahakum is ilah. <laughs> okay. One ilah. I mean, is that a translation supposedly? No, I don't know translation of who. Who is the donkey who made the translation? But let it go. Then if we go down, we will find here in verse number 9, Allah saying to tell, uh, uh, saying to Muhammad, say, do you verily disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days? Islam Wahid, when I call me, is he going to use a voice changer again or without voice changer? All right. <coughs> okay, Islam Wahid, call me. I just logged in Skype. Oh God, we have a Muslim here. Let's go. Let's see this Muslim first. Hello. 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 Yes, my friend. How are you? Hello. Are you there? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Are you a Muslim? You are live on air. Yes, yes. All right. What do you like to say to us? You need me. You need me to prove it. Prove what? Prove that I am a Muslim. No, I do not need it to prove. I believe you. That's it. I mean, there is no need to prove anything. But anyway, what do you want to say to us? <laughs> connection is a bit slower so I cannot uh, maybe I am slow on your YouTube don't, so you have to don't listen to me be slow with me don't listen uh, to, to YouTube mute YouTube you better stop YouTube totally just to focus with me if you want okay uh, I cannot read the first if you give me the first the verse this is a chapter 41 verse number 9 we will read verse number 9 verse number 10 verse number 11 and verse number 12 Okay, uh, I follow your I follow your video, some of video, but I have uh, something about uh, I'm uh, like to ask you. Maybe not about this topic today. It's okay with you. Well, we want to finish this one, but no problem. You can ask me. What do you want? I have uh, watched your video about uh, Allah Wakbar. You say that it's uh, Allah. It's uh, mean uh, for the God of the hmm. Moon. And who and who is uh, and and Abbas is uh, for the sun. Right. Is it correct? Yes, correct. Can you show me in the scripture and maybe because uh, the one told me is Allah is all all, all Ilah. It's a uh, it's a mighty God. It's a uh, it's all is a uh, every all all is all. all right. uh, it's uh, beyond everything. It's, no problem. Uh, all beyond Ilah. Okay. If you go in the Quran, if you go to chapter 6, verse number 78, you will see that according to Muhammad, when Abraham, he saw the moon, he said, this is my God, this is, um, this is my Lord. Correct? Verse number 77, he saw the moon, he says, this is my God, he worshipped the moon. Then when he saw the sun, verse number 78, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. Not a greater, the word here in Arabic is Akbar. Okay. Why Abraham, he called the son Akbar, 
he did not call the moon Akbar if the word Akbar mean a greater why he did not call yes, the planet it mean greater hmm? yes it mean greater okay I will go with you if this is meaning greater well he should say well because he changed his he changed his his worship first he saw a planet a, a star okay and then he said uh, this is my god he did not he did not call him akbar then he saw the moon he said okay this is my god he did not call him akbar but when he saw the sun he called him akbar why the sun only is called akbar he as you see he is comparing between them he is moving from from a star to a planet to uh, to the sun which is funny because isn't it the star is a is a is a is a sun is a star anyway but obviously the god of islam do not know that so when he worshiped us when he worshiped the, the the planet you know he said this is my god but he did not say this is akbar right then he saw the moon he, uh, he did not say this is maybe akbar. he thinks that uh, that uh, god is a uh, greater god is uh, akbar Okay, but is still he is worshipping, okay, but no problem. He is worshipping three gods. So if he is comparing between them and the word the greater should fit with all of them because this is Akbar. So I will stay, I will stay away from the previous one. I will go to the second one, right? But as you see, the only one who call him Akbar is the sun. So uh, can you explain it uh, in Arabic maybe? So what do you, but do you know Arabic? You're an Indonesian. What do you know in Arabic? You're an Indonesian, right? Do you know Arabic? You do not know. Yes. I, I cannot. Uh, I only can read some of uh, it uh, because... My friend, I, I don't know what to explain to you. Here we go. It says, فَلَمَّا رَأَى الشَّمْسَ بَازِغَةً قَالَ هَذَا رَبِّي هَذَا أَكْبَرْ So when he said the sun is rising, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. And Akbar, you know, is in the same like in Arabic we have like uh, we have a uh, like uh, the same as in English you say great greater greatest gr greater you know so this is the same in Arabic Kabir Akbar Kabir which mean big Akbar is bigger and here there's a mistake because you cannot say Allah is Akbar if Allah is God you compare him to what hello I cannot hear you you, okay, do you hear me? I will repeat again. You hear me now? Yes, yes. Okay, the word Akbar is to compare between it can in Arabic, it can come for age. As an example, I can say, uh, My brother Akbar, which means he is older, so for years, number of years. Akbar, it can be for size, Akbar, it can be for a value. All right, so if here yes. it's about a value. Well, the, the you know uh, how he value them. I mean, the, the first one is a is a star. The second one is a is a planet. The first one is a planet. The second one is a planet, and the third one is a star. So, what is the value between them? He did not use anything. He, he it cannot be the age. It cannot be uh, the value because what is the value between them? I mean, all of them. This is funny, and it cannot be uh, uh, anything except. This is the name of the sun because if he's saying the sun is bigger, if he's saying the sun is bigger from those who yes. he worship, that would be funny how he knew that the sun is bigger. Mm. Bigger than what? And the second you compare between. Uh, maybe bigger, maybe bigger than moon, maybe bigger than star. Okay, but uh, uh, how he knew that he's bigger than a star? And why he is using the word Akbar? You know, I mean, so you see, by agreeing with that, you just uh, agreed that he is comparing the size, right? Yes, because uh, okay. when the sun is shining, it, All right. it, it so, shines uh, the whole earth. Okay, I will go with you. So as long Akbar is about the size, well, when you are Muslim, you say Allah Akbar, you are comparing the size of Allah to what? Uh, it's uh, bigger, the big, uh, the, the most big God in the universe, maybe. Uh, Thank you very much, guys. God. This God is bigger. Did you hear it? He is the most big God. Okay, that's that's perfect. So Allah is bigger. That means he is bigger by size from other gods. So you Muslims worship an yes. idol because idols have size. And the Allah size is yes, big. because we, we, we did not accept another God, La Ilaha. Yeah, no, you did. You just admitted that there's other God because he said you said he is the bigger, he is the biggest God. So he is bigger God than the other gods. 
if he is the only one you don't say akbar because he is the only one there's no need to say akbar if i say to you you are bigger that's mean bigger than what i have to continue i say uh, mr faisal is, is is bigger than mr uh, muhammad right so i'm comparing between your size so but if there is only one faisal in the whole world he's the only human i cannot say you are bigger than an apple i cannot compare between a human being and an apple right we have to compare between from the same kind in language you don't compare you don't compare between uh, uh, you know an apple and a camel that would be funny so you don't say the camel is bigger than an apple so you compare between two apples or two camels correct okay okay so when i say allah is akbar akbar from what from which from what, there is other allah say that anymore okay so you know I, I i obviously this is something wrong here and as you see in the verse after it it says that he abraham is a hanif hanif is an aramaic word mean kafir he's a hanif so the muslim they say we are hanif the fact he is saying and i am i am a kafir i am from the mushrikeen so muhammad you do not know what the word hanif mean he copied it he did not this is not an arabic word this is an aramaic word and all of us we knew that abraham is an aramaic so he speaks in Aramaic saying, I am a kafir. And then Muhammad, he took the word Hanif and he put it in his Quran. And now you Muslim, you say, I am a Hanif too. Okay. Hmm. Now here you notice something very funny in the story. How Abraham, he learned about Allah. Where, where, where in the story, Allah, he spoke to him. Where, do you see anything in the story? Suddenly this guy, he is worshiping the moon. And why he worship the moon? There is no reason. Then why he did not worship the moon? It's a stupid reason. He said, I don't like the one who disappear. I mean, why didn't Abraham notice that the moon? Yes, I have read that, that uh, he didn't like the sun because the sun set. He Thank you. Like okay, but this is mean. But, yeah, but this is accepted if I am, I never saw the sun set before. Because it's like I'm surprised I worship this moon and then this moon disappear so this is the first time ever for me i see that the sun, that the moon disappeared that's mean like abraham was an alien in a in a spaceship and he came to the earth and this is his first night he saw the moon he said oh this is my god and then second day the moon is gone so he said you know what i'm not going to worship the moon so but abraham is born in this earth so he saw the moon millions of times coming and going coming and going so why he is saying i don't i'm not going to worship the one who disappeared he did not know that before he worshiped him the, the worship the moon you know what i mean no okay well don't he knew already abraham he is a man already he's a man correct don't yes, he yes, don't yes. don't didn't he see the moon before disappear before he start worshiping the moon he saw the moon disappear correct yes, yes. okay so yes. why he reject the moon to be his lord because he discovered that the moon disappear when he saw the moon already disappear he knew about it Idea. okay the same for the star the same for the sun like this guy he, he you know okay the sun is my god okay and then i don't like the one who disappeared but don't you know that the sun disappeared too is that a surprise yes. for you so the story here is stupid it's silly it does not make any sense but it's also in question you believe in abraham right my friend, uh, we believe in abraham god he came to abraham he spoke to him in christianity in the bible god himself he spoke to him here, what happened? Where is who, who told who told Abraham about God? What happened? Tell me what happened. I'm listening to you. I'm, I want to learn from you. How Abraham? Hey, Abraham now is worshiping the planet. Is worship the plant? I mean the planet. He worshiping the stars. He's worshiping the sun. Okay, how he learned about Allah according to Islam? What is the story? Okay. Hmm. There's no story. It's a silly story. How he learned about the name Allah? How, who, where did he get the name from? Did Jibreel come to him? No. Okay, so how he learned about that God, his name is Allah? <coughs> uh, it's not say that, uh, so I cannot say that. Uh, well, I will go to, I don't know. Yeah, but how he knew that the name of this God is Allah? There's there's millions of names. How he chose Allah? Why where, where he come with the name from? 
Did Allah speak to him? As you see, I didn't see anything here where it says Allah, he came to Abraham, he said to him, I am your God, like the story of Moses. The story of Moses, God, he appeared to Moses in the bushes as a fire, right? And then when, yes. when he, Moses came to him, in the Bible, you know, he said to him, I am, you know, I am Yahweh, and or I am who I am. This is what the word means. I am who I am. And this is my name, which means there's really no name can contain contain me. I am I am the person who exists by himself. And he and but here we don't see the story of how Abraham became a believer. You Muslim don't know. Not a single Muslim okay. have an idea. Okay. Hmm. So the story of okay, Abraham, uh, the story of Abraham, uh, obviously it's a theft. He stole it from the Jews, but he have no idea what to say. Okay, okay. Hmm. Um, also about, uh, let's change to another question. Maybe uh, I accept this, I accept this right now, but okay. I have more things to do. I have more things to ask you about, uh, explain about, you said in Lila, in Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Uh, you say it wrong. What saying what wrong? Teach me. I, I want to learn. You, from you. I, 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 I saw your videos uh, hmm. in uh, Indonesian translation. <laughs> hmm. Translation. You say that uh, you you quote uh, there's wrong with Lila in Alhamdulillah. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Okay. Do you see the first? Um, uh, if we look at the word, you can look at the word in your phone if you are using your phone. You will see that Allah is not the same as word. In verse number two, this is chapter one, verse number one and verse number two. So if if your yeah. name is Faisal, we cannot take the letter F from your name, correct? Can we? Yes, yes, it's Alif, Alif. Okay, I'm, talk, I'm talking uh, generally speaking. Your name is Faisal, so we cannot take your uh, your letter, the first letter from the, the name, can we? This is your name, I will type it in yes. the screen, okay? Faisal. Yes. Okay, can we take the letter F from your name? Or it is not allowed because this is a name. We cannot take it off, correct? Yes. All right. So here we have the name Allah in the first verse, and we see that Allah starts with the letter Alif. Okay, what happened to the verse number two? Where is the where is the Alif is gone? Did the rabbit eat it? <laughs> I I I I don't know. Well, I I see. I'm trying to help you because. If this is part of the name, here we go, here, this is the letter A in the beginning. We cannot find it here. It's gone. This A here is gone. What happened? Simply because this is not part of the name. So, Alhamdulillah. Li la in Arabic, Li mean to. La is the name of your God. Alhamdulillah. Rabbul Alameen. So, Alhamdulillah. Li in Arabic. Is equal yes. equal to two in English, right? Okay. Okay. So, alhamdu thanks li to who la. Thank you very much. This is the name of your God. And what la is mean? Is La, La is the name of the moon of, of the moon god. You can go and search it in Google right away. La is the name of the moon god. The moon god is not the moon itself. is the is the god who is in control of the moon. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, about uh, uh, also you said that Muhammad is cannot be a prophet for us uh, in Indonesia. So you said that if it was, uh, God want to send us a messenger, they must speak in our tongue. Exactly. Uh, but uh, and you say that you say that uh, that Muhammad cannot speak in our tongue. But we in here we in Indonesia we got Habib. We got what? It's a uh, descendants Habib. How, how to say Hab Habib? Habib, you got a you donkey. What Habib, you got, Habib? Yeah, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. My friend, my friend, the descendant from the prophet is Indonesian. Are you crazy? I mean, the guy is an Arab. His son is Indonesian. Secondly, the Quran says that Muhammad, he have no children. He have no men. So how he became descendant? Secondly, if I have a descendant, he is born in China. So now by the prophet, he was sent only to this descendant. Because if this is his descendant, if he is an Arab, 
Let us say he's an Arab. Huh? That means he is sent only for that Arab because the Quran is so clear. Allah will never send any messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. So you are saying to me, there's a guy he claim, his, you call him Habib, I call him donkey because obviously he's a fraud. Muhammad have no children. And even the Quran says, Muhammad was not the father of any of your children. So the Quran says, we never send a messenger unless he is from the people to the people, speaking the tongue of the people, the person in front of you. So in order for Muhammad to come to you as an Indonesian, he have to speak your tongue, he have to be Indonesian. And you know, Indonesian have many languages, not only one. Correct? Yes. Okay. So Muhammad, he cannot be, if he came to Indonesia, he have to be from one of the ethnic group of Indonesia speak in their tongue which means he cannot be for all indonesia anyway so he is sent to the arab speak in the tongue of the arab and the quran say clearly why which makes sense why so they might understand to make it clear for them and that makes sense yes, but it is it is same it is the same because of his descendants my friend, is the is the okay, what this guy have so to do? He, uh, okay, hold on. He, is, he, he, is, uh, is he all of Indonesia? He is this guy, is all of Indonesia. The prophet was sent to the Indonesian or to this guy? The, the, the prophet sent to Arabic, but... Uh, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. Fo focus with me, focus with me, focus, focus. Muhammad was sent for the people or only for one person? Yes. Okay. He was sent for the people. Read it in the Quran. This is your translation. He sent to his own people. You know what? I'm going to can show you. you can, can you change it to Indonesia? I will make it Indonesian. No problem. Even though I do not know what they are saying in Indonesian language. But let us see. Uh, here we go. Basha, Indonesia. Uh, I, I see there is a lot in Indonesia. All right. Chat okay. Right in now. Indonesian, it should it should see it should see that it says that he sent I, to his own people. Does it say that in Indonesian language? I put it for you in the, in the Basha language. He should speak the tongue of the people, his people. Kami tidak mengutus seorang rasul pun, melainkan dengan bahasa kaum, supaya ia dapat memberi penjelasan dengan kepada mereka. Maka Allah menyesatkan siapa yang dia kendaki dan memberi petunjuk kepada siapa yang dia kendaki. Dan dialah Tuhan yang maha kuasa lagi maha bijaksana. Hmm. So translate to me what what it says here. I do not know what he is saying. Well, it's uh, God will not send any prophets uh, except it's from our kind. Our it's kind, from, uh, from your people, our, our kind or our language, and you uh, and, speak our language, and from the people, right? From so the people can, and speak the language of the so people. He can give a, give a, make it clear. Okay, give an explanation to us. Make it clear to us. Thank you. So we can understand what is it. Thank you. Perfect. So Allah will never send a messenger. This is, he is not saying there's an exception. Uh, when we never send, never, never, any messenger except in the tongue of his people, which means he, he speak the tongue and he have to be from them. So how Muhammad is a prophet for you? Okay, maybe he's not a prophet, but... So what he is, he's not a prophet. So uh, our friend Faisal from Indonesia, he called me as a Muslim, and now he agreed that Muhammad is not a prophet. So what he is? Uh, he's a prophet for the Arabic people, maybe. Okay, he's a prophet for the Arab people. Okay, that means still he's a fraud. Because if he is a person in different place saying, I'm going to send you, go and fight and do jihad and convert people to Islam, but the Quran says he should be only a prophet for the Muslims, that means a fraud. And you are believing in a fraud. He's not your prophet. So, uh, if he is not a prophet, why the Habib say that they are the one who, who was sent? My friends, what Habib? This guy is a fraud. They claim to be Al Qazafi. He claimed to be from the children of Muhammad. As Sadat, the president who they killed him, the Muslim Brotherhood, he claims to be from the family of Muhammad. Jamal Abdul Nasser, they claim that he is from the family of Muhammad. Saddam Hussein, they claim that he is from the family of Muhammad. Erdogan, he claimed to be from the family of Muhammad. Every scumbag in the world, he claimed to be from the family of Muhammad. 
But Muhammad in Quran says Muhammad was not the father of any of your children. And all of us we knew that Muhammad he don't have a children. So how they became his children? And anyway, what does this have to do with him being a prophet? And how this guy, he's a child of Muhammad, he became in Indonesia. What happened? There's a hurricane took him by the wind, took him there. Do he look Asian or he look like an Arab? He look like an Arab, half Arab, Arab Indonesian, or maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. So he, uh, <laughs> this is a fraud. He make you, you know, so he can receive donation. People give him money. He claimed that he's from Muhammad. So what if you are from Muhammad? Okay, let me ask you something about in the Bible about Joshua. Hmm. What about Joshua? Who uh, uh, I, I have read about uh, your video about uh, about creation of the world. You say that in uh, Quran is not match the word. I have I have seen your video. They say that uh, Allah forget how uh, the, the 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 how to say that. Oh, I'll the, 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 the order, creation. yeah, the order, how he created. Okay, go ahead. Yes. So, uh, maybe there's some mistakes in the uh, Quran, uh, say that uh, there's a uh, mislead in hmm. creations, but also there's uh, maybe some, something that uh, bugged me in the Bible also that Joshua, is, uh, Joshua hmm. when he's in the war, he hmm. stopped the sun. He did How not. is it possible? You see, this is not about creation. It's, it's not possible. This is God miracle. He is not the one who stopped the sun. You know, <laughs> this is a miracle. How it's possible that Jesus is a son of women who have no uh, no, no husband? That's not impossible. That's not not possible. This is a miracle. So you are not a question in science now. You are a question in miraculous act of God. It's not him who stopped the sun. Nobody can stop the sun save God. So all what happened? Let us say he froze the time. That's it. Everything froze. Can God do that? Yes, he can. <laughs> but in the Quran, we cannot find the solution how Allah, he says something very funny. Like now in front of us, it says that he created the earth in two days. And then this is chapter number 41, verse number 9. And then verse number 10, he placed therein an earth mountain above it in four days. But this is the total six days. And then after that, he did finish the sky in two days. This is the total is eight. The Muslim to solve this problem, they say, oh, no, no, hold on. In verse number 10, the verse saying four days, that is include the two days in the beginning. That would be stupid. Why? Because when the Muslim, they translate, they try to cover the shame. If you know a little bit of Arabic, or you can copy this actually sentence right now and take it to Google translation, you will see here the letter is wa. Wa mean and. And. So this is in order. First, he created the earth in two days. And then, and he placed there in mountain. So Muhammad is speaking in order. And what come and after the two days, all of it is finished in four days. So the Muslims, in order to cover the shame here, they say, no, the four days here is including the two days. The verse is so clear. But there's only a way to solve it because this is a clear contradiction. The same if we go to the hadith, we find Muhammad making another poopoo as usual. Muhammad here in this hadith, he said that Allah, he, uh, 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 he created the earth, uh, the, the, the clay in Saturday and then uh, 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 the, 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 the mountains in, Mon in, in Sunday, uh, uh, the trees in, in uh, Monday and etc. But if we calculate the numbers, we will find that there are seven days. This, this is the hate in front of you. So Muhammad it cannot it cannot be consistent with his own story. This is the same person. Uh, wait, is, is this is uh, Sahih. This is Sahih. Yeah, this is Sahih Muslim. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. The name of the book is Sahih. So imagine if it's wrong. <laughs> the name of the book is Sahih, but the inside is is, is bad. <laughs> so this is a Sahih. If you calculate the words, you know that the number of days Saturday, you know. Let me let me let me type them for you in the screen so you can see with me. This is day number one, Saturday. Okay, Saturday is number one. Wonderful. Hmm. Then Saturday he created the clay. Then uh, Sunday he created the mountains. Okay, this is number two. Wonderful. Yes. All right. 
Then he created the trees in Monday. This is number three. Great. Yeah. Then he created uh, uh, entire labor in Tuesday. Okay, this is number four. This is day number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday, and this is number five. And then he caused the animal to spread in, in, in Thursday, and this is day number six. Here we should stop. That's it. And then he created Adam in a Friday after afternoon. <laughs> this is number seven. <laughs> Friday afternoon. <laughs> Where is the where is the Quran's verses saying Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days? And then the chapter 41 says it is eight days. And here the hadith says seven days. So which one of them is correct? Simply because he's a fraud. He cannot maintain his tongue. He, you know, he's a guy. He have a big mouth. He keep talking. And the more he talk, the more he do poo-poo. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm I'm out of what already, but um, you're out of what? You're out of Islam. You decide to leave Islam now? No, no, no. If 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 really, uh, Muhammad and Islam is a fake. Why there's a lot of uh, start here, Habib here, Sunan here, uh, money, who money, Arabic. money. There is a there, understand about this. Money, money, all money. They make five thousands every speech. Imagine every speech. Go and read the article. Five thousand dollars at least for making a speech. They are living like kings from the poor people of Indonesia. This is it's money, it's business, it's a fraud. My friend, for money, people they do a lot of things. You never heard of people doing porn? What what people do in porn? They take if the off their panty for the sake of what? For money. So for money, people do crazy stuff. So are you surprised? That somebody he called himself Ustaz, but in fact he is a fraud. And he but, is. And why this he Ustaz? Came, he he came, mm, go ahead. But he came from. Uh, he came. He learned from Egypt. He, he got a degree from it's, Egypt. It's a business. Like, he can go to. Abdul, he go, he go, uh, like Ustaz Abdul Somad. My friend, he did not come from Egypt. He studied there for a few weeks. He came back to Indonesia. He claimed to be a scholar, but he is a potato. I challenge him to debate me. He run away like a <laughs> like like a like a puppy. If he is a scholar, you're gonna say that he's a potato. He's a potato, absolutely. All those ustas in Indonesia, they are potatoes. Otherwise, why did they call me? Here we go. My Skype is open. If you can call me, why they cannot call me? Did I did I meet you before? Did I ask you who are you before? No, right? You just called me, no. and I took your call. This they can do the same. They can surprise me, and then every, let every Indonesian see that Christian prince. Maybe he know nothing about Islam, but they, they were not there because they are potatoes. What Somad? Somad is potato. Somad is not even a potato. He is he is a damaged potato. So do you mean that they already know the truth, but they are not speaking the truth? My friend, it's none of my business who know the truth or not. My business is to share the truth. But there is no way that those people who they are watching my videos and either the Christian Prince is not telling the truth and they should defend the Indonesian because a lot of Indonesian leave Islam every day because of me every day so shouldn't they call me and debate me and prove me wrong so they can stop the bleed of Muslims leaving and leaving Islam in Indonesia so if they are really truthful they should debate me so they can protect the Indonesian people from somebody like me maybe because maybe he's lying maybe Christian Prince is lying so let us get him busted so but they will not dare to do that because they are coward, they are potato, and they knew I'm saying the truth, and I, I show it in the screen, and nobody dare to debate me. If he if he call me, he will lose his job, nobody will hire him anymore. The same as even those who speak Arabic in the in, in YouTube, those potato, Mimi and Fifi and etc. All of them they are potato, don't dare to call me. So my friend, I invite you right now to leave us now. You are smarter than this. Do you believe really, that, uh, Faisal, do you believe really that Shaitan, he take care of from your ace, uh, from your ass when you pray? No. Okay. Do you believe that Shaitan, he fought when you pray? <laughs> no. Okay. So how you believe in Muhammad? How you can believe in such a garbage? I mean, you are a human being. You are a smart. 
and you there is no way such a foolish teaching you know will uh, will, will 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 make you believe in such a uh, belief so how you are a, a human being in the year 2020 you have internet you have a smartphone you go to school uh, uh, you know and yet you believe in such a garbage <clears throat> do do you know that shaitan he sleep in your nose no you never felt something inside your nose when you sleep Uh, show you uh, see your video last night oh. about the uh, mutah mutah. Yeah. You say this. Uh, hello. Can yeah, you hear? I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, about mutah. Uh, yesterday I saw about mutah and uh, the woman you speak. Uh, it's a uh, sina. We have. We have muta also in Indonesia. We call it kawin contract. If Indonesian read it here, uh, uh, CDs. You see, no, that, the uh, Muslim Shia, the Muslim Shia, they call it muta. The Muslim Sunni, they are hypocrite. They do it, but they, they, go, they give a different name. They call it. Uh, no, no. In Indonesia, we know it uh, with the name with kawin contract. Maybe, maybe there is a lot of Indonesia here uh, will also hear it, but. Uh, yeah, we brought, uh, we we make it happen in Indonesia with Kawin contract. So when you are become anyway, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm uh, telling you, what I'm telling you, in, all in, Muslims they uh, practice uh, muta, Faisal. All Muslims they practice muta, but the difference is Sunni or hypocrite they give it different name. It is muta at the end of the day. So they have the wajah friend, they have the wajah monsieur, they have the wajah student. Like you are going, you're going to study. Brother, I'm going to study for three months in Los Angeles. I, I cannot take my wife with me. She is big and heavy. Can I marry there temporarily for three months? Absolutely, brother. You can do it. So the Muslim, they practice that. Doesn't matter what their sect. But the Shia are more honest. They keep, keep they keep the name. They keep it, call it Muta. The Muslim Sunni, they are hypocrite. They change the name, but they still practice it. Yes, we are Sunni here. Yeah, you are Sunni, right? Yes. Okay. Shia is a bad. Hmm. So what do you think now? You are a Sunni, and Shaitan he he pisses in your ears. Do you see? Do you did you see the piss of Shaitan in your ears, as a Sunni? No, no. Well, how come? No. Don't you see the wax in your ears, my friend? There is wax. This is the Shaitan pissing in your ears. Muhammad says that. <laughs> yeah. No, the, the, the hadith. The, the, the hadith. <laughs> The hadith in front of you, the, the reason you blow your nose before in the morning, as Muhammad, he said, you have to put water when you do ablution too. Why? Because shaitan, he sleep in your nose and he piss in your ears. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, what, what, you leave Islam or you will stay as a Muslim now? What happened? I, I, I kind of doubt doubt it uh, uh, already but uh, what do you think I will have if I leave it yeah but you are smart I mean make a decision you will not believe in such a garbage yes yes if I leave it what kind of religion that, that I have first first you leave it that. first you leave it say I am out of the garbage of Islam and then we can discuss about what you can believe in uh, I will not say that a uh, garbage but uh, it's an insult Okay. Uh, we also know that in, in Indonesia it's very insulting. Okay, so say, uh, are you wanting to say I am out of Islam? Do you are you leaving Islam? Uh, uh, it's 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 uh, they they been, they they have been teach me from the child from the when I was born they give me asan. Yeah, but then now it's time to leave Islam. So. Are you? Are you? Did you decide to leave this? I mean, look at this. The Muhammad is making fun of you. Do you know? Okay, uh, 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 Faisal, have you ever raised your head before the Imam finished the prayer? Yes. Have you okay. ever? Have you ever raised your head like when they are praying? You bow down, and by like let us say by mistake you raise your head before the Imam. He raised his head too. Did you do that before? All Muslims do that. Yes. Okay. The, Muhammad he said. If a Muslim he do that, Allah will make his head a head of a donkey. Is your head as a head of a donkey now? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> okay, so uh, obviously Muhammad is a fraud. He's fooling you. He's lying to you. 
So why you want to stay as a Muslim? This is Sahih al-Bukhari said, the Prophet said, isn't it he who raised his head before the Imam afraid that Allah made me transform his head into that of a donkey? And I'm, I'm looking at your picture now in uh, in uh, Skype. You don't look like a donkey for me. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> My friend also not like a donkey. Yeah, you see, I'm mean, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm I'm showing you that this is stupid. So why you don't say I am out of Islam? Because obviously this is a religion full of fairy tale stories. Muhammad making fun of people. He cannot be a prophet of God. This is a lie. There's nobody believing this garbage. You see, look at look how stupid this statement. If somebody rape a woman, Allah will not make his head the head of a donkey. If somebody rape a child, Allah will not make his head as a head of a donkey. But if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's it's it, uh, okay. So what are you out of Islam? Is it uh, make me a mutak? Hmm. Is it making me murtad? Yeah, that will make you murtad, yeah. Are you scared to say I am out of Islam? Because then that... Who will save my soul then? Huh? Who saved my soul? For sure not Muhammad. Muhammad is busy making your head the head of a donkey now. <laughs> Muhammad, no, himself, but, uh, Muhammad see, himself... Um, I, I'm leaving it. Uh, they will stone me, they will kill me, they will something like that. Okay, well, you, do, you don't have to go on the street and say, hey, I'm out of Islam. You know, just leave Islam and uh, search for the truth by yourself. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving it. Okay, wonderful. Now ask me any question you want. I, Me as a Christian, I invite you to accept Jesus the Christ as your Savior. I'm happy for you that now you are clear from the virus of the stupid teaching of Muhammad and now I invite you to accept Jesus. Do you have any question for me about the Messiah? Yes, because uh, living, living it, it doesn't make me a Christian, right? No, absolutely, because you have to believe and you know for us as a Christian is not saying Shahada will make you a Christian, is believing in Christ will make you a Christian. Uh, say, uh, can you prove me that uh, that Jesus is, uh, is really that is, is really crucified. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to show you from the Bible because all the Bible says that, but I will show you from the Quran, the stupid Quran itself. The Quran says clearly okay. that Jesus was a crucified. How we can prove that? Okay. If we go to the verse, which is the verse supposedly denying his crucifixion, this verse actually proving that Jesus was crucified. I mean, the man who made this verse. He he, 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 he suffered from mental illness. This is your Indonesian language in the screen. I want you to read for me and tell me what it says. Chapter 4, verse 157. Okay. Alright. So now to translate for me. You see, my my Indonesian language is not good. The only word I know is the book. Like Muhammad is the book. Now tell me what happened. There. Uh they said that we, we killed uh, Isa Putra Maryam Rasulullah, but they actually didn't kill it or they didn't crucify it because they make it look like somebody else. Thank yeah, you very much. What, okay. Uh, that also told us. Stop, stop, Faisal. Guys, did you hear what Faisal said? He said, Allah make him make someone look like Jesus. Look how stupid the story. By saying that, he confirmed, yes. he confirmed that the people who they are there, they saw someone look exactly like Jesus, correct? Yes, exactly okay. like. Now, so I can say, okay, it, I can they, say they now... They crucified the, the Faisal, wrong guy. Faisal, wait, hold. I can say right now that the, the Muhammad, who the Muslim they saw in Mecca, he was not Muhammad. This was me. He looked exactly like me. I look like him. I mean, I mean, this is a joke. If his mother was there, the disciple of Jesus was there, and thousands of Jews who witnessed Jesus and they spoke to him, they were there. 
the judges were there and everybody who knows Jesus was there and yet nobody discovered that this is not Jesus so how this story can make sense and how we can trust after now anyone we see because maybe Jibreel is not Jibreel maybe Allah is not Allah maybe Muhammad is not Muhammad maybe Faisal is not Faisal maybe Christian Prince is not a Christian Prince maybe my TV is my radio maybe my computer is my phone Maybe my cat is my dog. Maybe my dog is my cow because you never know. Allah playing games. So how we can trust such a stupid story? The story confirmed that the Christian there and the Jews, the, <coughs> the witness that they killed Jesus and he looked exactly like Jesus. Now, where is the proof that this is not Jesus? If he looked exactly like Jesus. <coughs> you know what I mean? But that means that the two person, right? This is not the problem now. The problem is how Muhammad, he can prove this. Muhammad, he came 600 years after that. He says to us, ah, 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 ah. this is, was not Jesus. He looked like Jesus. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid. Uh, 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 imagine, imagine people, they go, uh, uh, the police came. Somebody got shot. And then we take him, we take him to hospital. And the judge, he want to he wanna judge the one who killed this person. This person, he said to them, I did not kill this guy. He looked like him. <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid story ever. So how we can, how we can depend in such a naive, stupid story? I mean, do people have a brain? Do people even have a, have a, have a, like 1% of a brain? So in order to swallow this dummy, stupid story, you have to be dummy yourself and slow to the point you, you live in a small slow motion by the time you finish the verse the, the, you know you will be dead so the it's, verse in the front very, of us it's... the verse in front of us face out confirm that the jews they say we killed jesus they are not saying maybe they say we killed all right and then they say the quran says they killed him not which means Allah he made someone look like him and that is the most stupid argument ever because as long they saw someone look like Jesus will Muhammad he have to prove that this is not Jesus otherwise anyone can say will Muhammad was not Muhammad Jibreel was not Jibreel Allah was not Allah Christian Prince was not Christian Prince who what Muhammad he did not see Jibreel Muhammad he saw the cat you know but it looked looked like Jibreel but it was a cat It, 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 it's very mind-blowing when you say that uh, when you say that kind of perspective because we always or uh, we always we always being teach that uh, it's uh, make uh, save him and and make him alive yeah well it's, you know it, it's very okay. mind-opening so, so, when you say that uh, with this different perspective it's very uh, okay my friend we, we have to open we, we, we have to be smart God he gave us a gift you, 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 you are not a slow person. God gave you a gift, my friend. God, he gave me brain. He gave you brain too. Not, I'm not only me have a brain. You have a brain and maybe your brain is better than me. But we need to use it. You know, sometimes because we are under, under the influence of a lot of things around us, we don't want to think. So we take it, we accept it with our thinking. But as you see, this is a stupid story. It does not make sense in any way, in any mean. And in the same time, if Allah saved Jesus, what, what is the point of this is uh, this uh, like he made someone look like him? Because here, what look what happened. When Allah, he made someone look like Jesus, he created the Christianity, if this is true. Because the Christians, if there is no crucifixion, they will not believe the whole Christianity is gone. So the one who created Christianity based on this verse is Allah. He is the deceiver. That will make Allah shaitan. Why the Christians believe that Jesus was died die, die, die in the cross? The Quran says Allah made someone look like him, according to Muslim uh, understanding. But this is mean that the one who made the Christians misleaded is Allah. So right now we have more than 3 billion human beings who they are Christians are misleaded by the big fat liar Allah. In also in uh, in the Bible, we say also Allah. No, my friend. This, no, this is no, Allah. no, no. This is a translation. This is false translation in Arabic in the Middle East too. The Arabic Bible translation, translation, not the Bible. 
translation say the word Allah you you make a translation right now you can use any word you want but this is not a true uh, word this is a false translation my friend we have nothing to do with Allah you see the God of the Muslims is not a spirit our God is a spirit the, the name is not the problem between us and Islam let us say the Muslim they change the name of their God and they call him Yahweh they call him Jehovah they call him Elohim they call him Hashim they call him uh, Emmanuel whatever he, they call him still that will not make their God our God our God is different in nature our God is holy their God is not their God is pimp he's making a lot of women right now as we speak preparing them for boom boom you know this guy is guy is uh, is busy building building a pimp house our God is holy our God is a spirit our God uh, he's everywhere our God he came as a man our God, uh, uh, he, he, he is capable of doing everything. Allah, he cannot. Like if you ask a Muslim, can Allah come as a man? They will say no. Okay, our God can. Can Allah have a son? They say no. Or our God can. Can Allah, and even, even the Quran, because the Quran is made by a stupid idiot, he says, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? I mean, look at this logic. Claiming that the reason for God to have a son is girlfriend, but that's mean God is not God because this is only work with the human being. Me, myself, I don't have a son. Why? Because I don't have a woman. So I need a woman so I can have a son. That's that's simple, but that will not work for God for God is almighty. He did not need a woman to have a son. So Muhammad obviously is a stupid. He understood that when the Christian says that Jesus is son of God, that means God, he have a wife, her name is Mary, and they have a baby, his name is Jesus. <laughs> and that is the most stupid understanding for Christianity. So Muhammad obviously is a fraud, he's a stupid, he don't understand Christianity. He don't even understand the nature of his God. You know, if we ask any, any, if we ask any Muslim right now about Allah, who, who's Allah? Muhammad, he said nothing to them about Allah. Nothing. But, uh... Uh, when when the time of Muhammad, there is uh, already Christian, right? There is a Christian for sure, yeah. Uh, okay. So so you are saying that Muhammad is uh, it's a make it um, make its own call by from Christian and Jewish something like that. Muhammad in the beginning, Muhammad he was uh, he's a fraud. So in the beginning, he tried to attract the Jews. Uh, uh, and the Sabi and, and the and, and the Nasara, he have a Nasara around him. He don't have really Christians in his area. He married from Khadija, who she is Nasara. She is like Jehovah's Witnesses. She is not a Christian. Nasara are false Christians. So Muhammad, he in the beginning, he wanted the Jews to believe in him. So he said, "I believe in Moses. I believe in your God. I believe in Abraham." So he start believing in anything they say, to the point. Anything the Jews they say, Muhammad he accepted immediately. As an example, uh, when the Jews they say to him that the most of torture is the punishment of the, the for the in the grave is urine, Muhammad he took it. He make it part of his religion. So he come with the conclusion that the most torture Allah he do to a human being is because of urine. Have you ever heard of a God he torture you because of urine? Why? You know why because the Jews they say so Muhammad is a thief he heard the Jews saying so he accepted he believed it he put it in his religion so when Muhammad he copied from the Jews it's just to make the Jews accept him he copied from the Christian so he will he, he hoped that the Christian would accept him when the Jews and the Christian did not accept him uh, uh, you know he decided to kill them all he said as an example he said even the Sabian the Sabian they worship stars how the Sabian they will go to heaven because in the beginning, uh, uh, Muhammad, he was desperately looking for believers. Anyone, just believe in me. <laughs> in chapter 2, look at the chapter 2, verse number 62, it says, Those who they are believe uh, 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 from the Jews, uh, those who we believe, and those who they are the Jews, and those who they are the Nasara, and those who they are the Sabian. Okay, hold on. How the Sabi and they will go to heaven? They worship stars. How they can go to heaven? What? what how? What is their way? What is their way? How they bought their ticket to heaven? By what? By worshiping stars? 
The Sabian are the same people of, of, uh, of Abraham, Abraham when he is he, he live in Iraq. Those are the people, how the Sabian, who they are supposedly the Quran, the verses we showed you when, when Abraham, he said, I am Hanif, I'm not going to worship your God. How the same people became going to heaven? Because he's a because, fraud. Uh, did you watch? Did, 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 did you watch the American uh, election? In the American election, Obama, as an example, uh, uh, when he, he he have a meeting with the atheist, he make fun of the Christian Bible. He go to the church, he pray, he hold the Bible in his hand. He's a Christian. He meet with the Jews. He wear the hat of the Jews. He go to the Muslim. He say, my Muslim faith. You know, he changed his religion. They bent in the meeting. This is Muhammad. Muhammad with the Jew, he's a Jew. With the Nasari, he's a Nasara. With the Sabian, he's a Sabian. And with the pagan Arab, he is a pagan Arab. He even worshiped the three daughters of Allah. And after he said that those are three daughters of Allah, it's a must to, inter to ask, uh, hope for intercession, pray for them. Uh, he got busted. The, the, the one who followed him, he said, you, saw us, you, us, you said to us, this is uh, not good. You said to us, this is not right. And now you are worshiping the three daughters of Allah. So Muhammad, he claimed, just to protect himself, that the one who gave him this verse was a shaitan. <laughs> so, so here I go, here, here again, we find the story again, that shaitan is not, Jibreel is not Jibreel. Jibreel is shaitan. Because who will give him the verse? Jibreel, who look, shaitan, who look like Jibreel. So look like the story of he look like is all over Islam. Shaitan, he can come as Jibreel. Uh, Allah, he can make someone look like Jesus. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's endless. Uh, if you remember the story of Suleiman, Shaitan, he come to Suleiman, wife, in the look of Suleiman, and he took the ring from her. Suleiman, he went to the bathroom. You know, we Arab, we go to the bathroom a lot, and the Jews too. You know, Jews and Arab, we go to the bathroom. We spend the whole day in the bathroom, what we can do. <laughs> so Suleiman, he went to the bathroom, and he cannot go to the bathroom, and he have the ring of Allah with him. No way. The holy water ring, no way. <laughs> so he decided, he cannot take it inside the bathroom because it's holy. So he gave always the ring to his wife before he entered the bathroom. When he was in the bathroom, Shaitan, he took the look of Abraham. Oops. And then he came to his wife and he told his wife, give me my ring. His wife, she looked at him. She said, okay, this is, uh, this is my husband. She gave him the ring. When the husband, he went out from the bathroom, obviously he stayed there for seven years. He found that the, the, the shaitan became the king and they kicked him out of the, of the, of the, of the palace. I mean, who in the world can believe in such a story? So Abraham, uh, you know, Ibrahim is not Ibrahim because there's someone look like Ibrahim too. Shaitan is not Shaitan because Shaitan he looked like Jibreel. Jibreel is not Jibreel because Jibreel looked like Shaitan. And not only that, Muhammad he said that Allah he sent to him Jibreel, and Jibreel he have the look of Dahiyal Kalbi. Okay, hold on. How Jibreel looked like Dahiyal Kalbi? Hmm? And yet. Now we have two Dahya. Which one of them is Dahya? Hmm? Which one of them is Dahya? To make it simple for you, if now I am, uh, I'm a, let's say I am Muhammad, and then uh, an angel come to me, and he is he look like Trump. He look like Trump. Okay. How I will know that this is not Jibreel in the future? This is not a Trump, the real Trump. Yeah, we cannot know. Because now anyone see Dahya, he will think this is Jibreel. Because Muhammad, he confirmed that Jibreel and Yahya, they look the same. Okay. Right? So my friend, we prove to you that Jesus is a crucified and Muhammad lie. What else you want me to prove to you? Anything else? Christianity they said that our sin is why uh, is clear is uh, crucified by Jesus so Jesus took all, all our sins how can how that possible so we we don't have to make a good deeds then no my friend this we, is not this, we can go back, no you see we can go back and Jesus can erase our sin no this is not what Christianity mean you see never never let Muslims explain to you uh, 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 what 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 Christianity mean? When we say that Jesus he took our sin, 
which means we are guilty with our sin. But if we accept him, we get a chance to be forgiven. However, the Messiah, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So you repent, you will be forgiven, you go to heaven. Repent mean you don't do what you used to do. And then if you do the will of my father, you go to heaven. So in Christianity, there is no free pass to heaven because, okay, you just accepted Jesus. No, because we don't believe in hypocrisy. In Islam, it is the opposite. Muhammad, he said, even if you say the name of Allah 100 times, all your sin is forgiven. <laughs> if you say the name of Allah 99 times, all your, if you kiss the black stone, Allah for, erase your sin. We don't have this garbage yes, in Christianity. That's, that's why we go to Hajj. Exactly. So uh, uh, if you if you if you hug the black stone uh, or the Yemeni corner together, Allah will erase your sin for the previous year. That is in Islam. And actually, the one who promised people to go to heaven is Muhammad. He gave them. You know, they say that the Pope. He gave the Christian letters to go to heaven. That's a big fat lie. The one who did that, he promised 10 people to go to heaven. Who is Muhammad to promise people to go to heaven? Who is he to promise them? Is he God? When the Quran says that may Allah forgive the sin of Muhammad. So how Muhammad can forgive the sin of others if he is just a prophet? How he can guarantee them heaven? In the same time, Muhammad, he got himself busted. He says that he is not sure if Allah will forgive his sin. Uh... <clears throat> Uh, let us see yes, here. Yeah, yes, uh, I'm, I'm already out of Islam, so you don't have to prove me that Muhammad is wrong already. But but I, I'm curious about Christianity. How 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 on earth you say that uh, God come become a man and that man crucify and it erase our sins? It, it doesn't make sense. No, no. It, you know, when we say erase our sin, I just explained to you that that's mean if you, okay, when you, when you believe in any religion, let us say you used to be a Muslim, right? Okay. You believe in Allah and Muhammad, you go to heaven. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So how come there it makes sense? In Christianity, it does not make sense. In Christianity, you believe in Jesus as your Lord, as Savior. And then you do as he told you to do. And then if you are truthful, you will go to heaven. Jesus said, from their fruit, you shall know them. What does that mean? Which means if you are a Christian, yes, uh, if yes, you are... From if, your good deeds. Not only good deeds, you have to be the same as a Christ. So good deed can be false, can be very false, because appearance. From their fruit, the fruit have to be the fruit of Jesus. So somebody he made a donation does not make him good, because he might make a donation just to show off in front of people that I am making a donation, you know? I am a good guy, yes, yes. but there is someone he make a donation from his heart. He don't care what people say. That is a that is the fruit of Jesus. Somebody he helps. Somebody he don't want a return. That is the fruit of Jesus. So you have uh, to do the fruit of Jesus to be a follower of Jesus, not by name. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, so, also about Jesus. Uh, but let well, me let me finish first. Jesus let me came finish. from. Let me finish from first. Israel, right? Yeah, hold on. Let me finish first. Here, here, the, the verses about Jesus saying, from their fruits you shall know them, destroy all the claims, Muslim falsely they say, that we are Christians, we claim, that just because we believe in Jesus, we'll go to heaven. That's absolutely false. There's tons of verses in the Bible. Je Jesus is clear, says it clearly. Not only that, there's a group of people, they will say, we made miracles in your name. He will say to them, depart of me, I do not know you. Why? Because they were doing those miracles in his name, using his power for the sake of their glory. So it's a big fat lie the Muslim they spread about Christianity, that we Christian we believe, just believe in Jesus, you go to heaven, you can go to the bar, you can uh, sleep around, you can be a thief, you can be a drug dealer. That is a you big... Can drink. You that, can eat Babi too. That is Babi a, is a pig. Huh? Eat what? Eat pig. Pig. Well, my friend, eating pig does not make you a bad person. Because the pig can be better than a human being. I mean, look look what Jesus said. Jesus said, it's not what go inside your mouth, make you dirty, but it's what come out of your mouth. Do you agree? Yes, yes. Makes sense, right? Oh, so, no. so eating pigs... In, in, in Bible say that we cannot eat 
speak to yeah but there, but, 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 but yeah but no you see there, there is a reason because at that time people they used to you know the, the pigs they eat anything in the street right now you have pigs in the farm you control what they eat and you uh, the uh, pigs they eat anything they eat dead, uh, even dead animals so they can bring a, a big problem diseases like now coronavirus is spread because of what because the chinese are eating animals they should not really use them for food right why because those animals they are not really made for food so when you when you change your diet and you make it a, 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 a wrong diet it can destroy your life so forbidding the pigs was for the benefit of uh, the, uh, the human being as an example the camel the camel don't you know uh, uh, there's many anim animals they don't sweat the poison stay inside their skin so there is there is animals like uh, 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 the, the muslim they say to you uh, the rabbit in the bible is forbidden why because the rabbit he is like a cow he he re eat his food because they are ignorant stupid the rabbit when he eat there's two kind of food he make actually two kind of uh, let us say feces he make feces which come out to eat it later and feces which is feces so there's food which he digest immediately and there's another stomach which prepare that food for later let's say he have a kitchen inside his 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 his, his stomach so the bible forbid them from eating that animal for a reason so the muslim they always are ignorant and they take things out of contact and they try to make fun of it but we get them busted as usual so it is not food my friend will make you dirty it's what you do imagine you are a person who eat a pig every day you eat a donkey every day but you are a person who never harm anyone you never rape a child you never stole and there's a person who pray every day he never eat a pig he never blah 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 blah, blah but he is a child molester like muhammad he is a criminal he is a thief which one of them is better Okay, so that makes sense what Jesus said. It's not what goes in your mouth make you dirty. It is what come from your mouth. Do you agree? So you're not saying, so you're not saying that uh, Bible is, uh, old, or New Testament is contradict the Old Testament? No, no. The New Testament, Jesus explained it to them that yes i gave you this command but this is not because that will make you dirty and that will make you bad or bad you know this is for your benefit this is why he said to them god he made sabbath for the man not the, not the man for sabbath the jews they became the same as the muslims they are very strict if you break the sabbath you know that's it there's no mercy so J jesus he said to them clearly you have a wrong understanding that i am the one who gave you the command and i give you the command for a reason so when I gave you the command for not eating pigs was for a reason, not because the pigs will make you a bad person. What make you a bad person is not the pig, it's you. It's what it's not what go inside your mouth, it's what come out of your mouth. And I told you the Old Testament gave it for a reason. Everything in the Old Testament is for the benefit of the man. God, if you if you eat pig or not, he, he don't really care. I mean, what a big deal. He created the pig. But because the pig is an animal who eat anything in, 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 the, in the field, including a human being. But today we don't see a human being in the street and the pig will eat them. And then late, later we eat the pig, right? Today, pigs are different animals and they are growing and there's doctors. They check them out. And, you know, as you see, uh, uh, all animals have disease like now corona the first corona was discovered was in saudi arabia coming from the camel united nation issued a big warning for drinking camel milk too not only camel meat so there's there's a virus can come from the uh, from from the chicken from the bird from the birds from the from the from the fish yeah it can come from the pig can come from uh, 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 all kind of animals and if virus can come from a human being you know we are we, you know we are, <laughs> we are not better so all of those things they misunderstood by the Muhammadan and Jesus he brought a very great logic it's not what go inside the mouth of the man make him bad or dirty it is what come from the mouth that's a great wisdom overcome the foolishness of some people who try to understand wrongly what God he want from them
right? Okay. And do you do you find any wisdom better than the wisdom of Jesus? Be honest. You can go and read the Bible right now, and you will find any wise any nowhere in the world anyone can say anything like the Messiah. Mm -hmm. uh, they say that uh, it's it, it's almost uh, half half of the New Testament is written by it's written by you know uh, it's written by Paul and Paul never met Jesus, right? My friend, no, Paul he met Jesus when his way in his way to Damascus, the Lord he appeared to him, and he made him blind, and even this story is mentioned in many interpretation books. So yes, he met him. It's the same like it's the same like Muhammad when he, no. he saw Jesus. No, too. no, my friend, because Paul is not a person who came six hundred years after. Paul, right away, he was going after the disciple of Jesus who was exist in the time of Jesus, not someone he came two hundred years after. And he met with them, and he discussed with them, and they accepted him, and he became a great teacher for Christians. So, and God, he made a miracle as a proof that he is sent by him. He made him blind, and then he gave him his his, his eyes again. So. Uh, uh, Paul, he met the, the, the Lord, and the Lord spoke to him. And in the same time, uh, let us say that Paul was not exist. That will not change anything. Because all the writing of Paul is totally in total agreement with other bi Bibles. There's four witnesses of the Bible. Four writers. And those four writers are inspired by God. Each one of them, he told the story as the Lord, he inspired him to tell it. Uh, and the reason for that. You know, like if you are a person who, uh, uh, if you, if you like now, you are talking to me. Tomorrow you are going to tell the people what happened in the conversation with me. And then there is somebody who was listening to us. He might report the story differently, even though he's not lying. Why? Because each one of us, he have a gift from God to give details more than the others. So you give details for things you find it interesting for you more than the other. Four witnesses will give a perfect story for people one story with more details and more important stuff so paul his existence will not change anything okay let us say there's no paul the muslims they hate paul right okay but the quran we showed you from the interpretation if you watch my videos the quran admit and clearly and in the interpretation that paul was one of the messenger of god but who cares about the quran a stupid book we don't we, we don't prove anything from the, we use the quran just to prove to muslims but Paul, his existence, did he teach something against Christ's teaching? No. Did he believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, but the rest did he believe in something different? No. Not a single word Paul he spoke of is against the teaching of the four gospel in Christianity. So when they speak too much against Paul because they are stupid, they have to find somebody to attack him. But if there is Paul or there is no Paul, nothing will change. Okay, let us say there is only one book. It's called the book of Matthew. Nothing will change. Jesus is God in the book of Matthew. Let us say there's only one book, the book of John. Still nothing changed. The book of John says it clearly that Jesus is God. He did all the miracles. Let us say there's a book, only the book of Luke or Mark. So this is only an excuse for from ignorant who do not know what they are talking about. Okay, one, one last time. All right. I will ask you about uh, Trinity. Okay. Trinity. What about the Trinity? Tell me. What do you like to know? <clears throat> it's very confusing that the, uh, Christianity has three gods. No, we don't have three gods. We have one God. The Bible, all of it, it says one God. If you go on right now, search. You can go to any Bible search engine. Type the word one God. You will find from the first in the in in, in the, the beginning that your your God is one. One God. You know. So there's no single Christian. Christianity say we believe in Father. The Son and the Holy Ghost. One God, my friend, and then we say one God. I mean, to that, so we say the Father, the, the the Son, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. One God. We don't say three gods. So God, God, he 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 told us about Himself that I am God in heaven. I sent to you my Son in the flesh of a human being on earth. And when I am not there with you in physically as Jesus, as the Christ, my spirit will be with you. So God is a spirit because the Messiah, he said it clearly, 
you know, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. How you can be between them? Because the Spirit is always between us. Spirit is everywhere. And God is powerful. So if God, he cannot be three and one in the same time, well, God cannot be even one. Because this is, when we call him, we call him what? We call him Almighty, correct? Yes. What Almighty mean? Explain to me. Almighty, Almighty means he can. He is, he is a person. He is a person of might. He can do anything, right? Yes. Okay. The God of Islam, he cannot be a man. My God, he can be a man. What is the what is the difficulty? Imagine that Jibreel, who is just an angel, he came to Muhammad as a man. So Jibreel, he can transform and became a man, but Allah, he cannot be a man. So in a Christianity, God is capable, the same as he was able to make Mary have a son, yet she don't have a husband. Well, God, he told us that I am one, but in the same time, three person. Is that possible? Everything is possible with God. Otherwise, you should not believe in any miracle. Because miracle is about impossible, not possible. Right? Okay, so you are saying that uh, the, they say that Holy Ghost is everywhere. It's... Uh, Omnipresence, they say that. How, how, how to say that? Uh, they everywhere. Is it really a Holy Ghost here? In we are talking right now. The, the Messiah, he said, every two mention my name, I will be between them, which means I will be the third. So right now, as we speak, the Messiah is witnessing, the Holy Spirit is witnessing, and our God, the Father, is witnessing, because God is exist everywhere by His knowledge, by His ability. He's not limited. And how do I know that uh, if he is here or he is now with us, how do you prove it? How, how, how Christianity prove it? Well, you know, if you read the Bible, you will see that the Jews, when they were speaking about the Messiah, the Messiah, he knew what they were thinking about in their head, in their brain. Even the Quran says that the Messiah can tell you what you hide in your houses, how he knew. People, they were in their houses doing stuff, yet Jesus, he knew what they were doing in their houses. You know what I mean? So, how Jesus... Huh? The first, the first. Can you show me the first? The first okay, okay. Let me show you the first. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. This is chapter 3, verse number 49. I will put it for you in the screen in your language so you can see it. Jesus, he tell you what you hide in your houses. Okay, people, they are in their house now. And Jesus, he is in different place. How he knew what people have in their houses. It's impossible unless he is God. How he knew. How, how, how he knew uh, what I am saying to you, what you are saying to me. That, but because that's mean he have... Uh, uh, infinite uh, knowledge and that's mean he can know anything not only those people only because how he knew that even those anyone any one of you all of you anyone of you i can tell you what you did in your house what you save in your house what you had in your house what you do in your house and the verse in the front of you let me make it for you in your language this is in english i will make it in basha Where is the Basha language? We miss it. We jump it, maybe. Okay, here we go. It's coming long here. But you see, it should be at the end. It says that Jesus, he tell you what you hide in your houses, what you do in your houses, correct? Yes. Okay, how he knew that? If he is not with us. I am in my house between... I am in my house between four walls, and now I have ten dollars. I want to save them under the pillow. How Jesus will knew that? I don't hear you. Jika kamu sesungguhnya pada yang demikian adalah suatu tanda kebenaran kerasulanmu bagimu jika kamu sungguh-sungguh beriman. 
Alright. So how in the language of the Bahasa, as they are correcting me, sorry, I was saying Basha, Bahasa, how he knew what you had in your houses? Unless he is God everywhere, his knowledge is everywhere, his ability is not limited behind walls. No walls can hide anything from him. So if I commit sin right now between, be, behind the walls, Jesus, he knew, he see me. He do not need a black stone to witness for him about what I did as Muhammad did and said. So Jesus is all knowledgeable. How he knew that? Okay, I, I have a Christian friend, a Christian pray, a friend too. They say, uh, they, or, they, they always tell me that they can feel God inside their heart. They can, when they pray, they pray, they can uh, feel their, the, the God in, inside their heart. They, they know that they pray is, uh, they, God hear they pray. How, how, how do they know? How, how, how your Christian know that? Okay, well, is that, this, uh, is, this uh, is a... The this Spirit is, tell you something or yeah, oh, audibly right. tell right. you something when you first, pray? First of all, this is depend on who you are. If you are a true believer or just you are a person who is born as a Christian, you don't really care. So a true believer, yes, he feels God within him. He give you passionate, he give you strength, he give you all the power you need. Uh, you know, for me as an example, I am a weak person. Who I am? I am nobody. If I, I, if I depend on myself, I cannot, I cannot help you right now. Who I'm, I'm, I'm no one. But I believe strongly that the Lord, He used me, and He speak, He tell me, He He give me wisdom. Otherwise, the, the, the wisdom of a man is a wisdom, wisdom of a foolish. No one, no man is wise. So the Lord Himself, He prove Himself to us, and He is exists with us. He, the Lord, the Messiah, said, "Knock at my door, and I will open for you." That's it. You do not need to kiss stones. Knock at my door. Ask him, hey, Lord, I want to I wanna, I wanna believe in you. Help me, please. Just speak from your heart and then you will see, you will hear the answer. So the Lord is there. He do not need any middle person between you and him. He do not need you. Jesus, he said, when you pray, go to your closet. You do not need to go stand in front of people, be hypocrite, show that you are a good person praying and say, I am fasting Ramadan, etc. He don't want that. Actually, he forbid you from doing that. He said, when you fast, you don't tell anyone. You, even you wash your face with water so nobody will know that you are fasting. Because you fast, this is something for you, between you and me. It's not something you do as a duty. We don't believe in a duty in order to be a Christian. We believe that a Christian have to do things if he believe in it. Which means, if I am a true Christian, I do what true Christian do. So, Praying here, praying there, even the Messiah, he said, don't be the same as the hypocrite who pray in the corners. Who is talking? Who is talking about who? He's talking about the Jews and the Muslims today who pray in the corner. Why you should not pray in the corner? Because when you pray, you pray to who? You pray to me. Why you want to pray in the corner to show everybody that you are praying? It, it, it's called asan. We call anyone to call, uh, to pray uh, together. It remind us to do a five prayer. No, in Christianity, my friend, you pray anytime you will, you want because this is personal relationship with God. Pray as you wish. You pray when you are standing. You pray when you are working. You pray when you are driving. And if you want to have like a special spiritual prayer, for sure it's going to be better if you have like in a private place. However, you can go to the church. The church prayer is to share with the community. But you praying to the Lord, speaking to Him, this is something very personal. Anytime you want, you can pray to Him. In Matthew, in Matthew chapter 6, the Messiah, He said, Don't be the same, don't pray, like, don't be like the hypocrite. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrite. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the street corners to be seen by man. So this is their purpose. This is why I say to you, it's not enough to believe in Jesus to go to heaven, but you have to be a true believer. Not by saying what I believe, but by being a true believer. How a true believer is? A true believer, he will not go in the corner to show off. Because this is his belief. His belief is something private between him and his Lord. 
You don't go, hey, I'm fasting, guys. I'm a good guy. I grow my beard. I'm fasting, you know. I'm tired from fasting. He want to tell everybody because he's a hypocrite. He's a fraud. This is this is the sign of a fraud. He yeah. want to tell everybody. The Messiah, he said, the opposite you do because he don't want to fraud yeah. around him. So my friend, Faisal, I don't want you to believe that Christianity is the same as Islam. There's one, two, three, four. You pray five times, etc., and then you go to heaven. No, this is stupid. In Christianity, it's a life you live, truthful life. You believe in the Messiah. You obey his command. And no one can say you are going to be a holy man who never commits sin. All of us, we are sinners. And God, he knew that. He accepts us as we are. However, he understands at the same time if you are hypocrite or you are given the effort to fight your sin. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I am, let us say, I am dirty right now. And either I take a shower to fight my dirt and I get dirty again. I take a shower again and, you know, and I use whatever I can to clean my dirt or I stay with my dirt forever because I don't care. So the Lord, you cannot fool the Lord. You cannot lie to him. You cannot be hypocrite with him. There's no hypocrisy in Christianity. Hypocrisy only exists in Islam. This is why when Muhammad says, if you say the name of Ar-Rahman 30 times, your sin is forgiven. What is that? I mean, this is stupid. If you say, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. I mean, what is that? Just say those words and your sin is forgiven. That is the most stupid argument ever. That's mean a, a, a we can do and all kind of sin and just we say those words and that's it. In Christianity, you cannot do that. Even if you say the name of Jesus one billion times, your sin is not forgiven unless you mean it, unless you repent, unless you accept that you are going to fight sin and you are not hypocrite. So what do you what do you think? You would accept the Messiah as your savior? Uh, if I accept that, uh, what which church I have to go? There's a lot of church in Indonesia. Well, tell me, there's a lot of religion. It's a Catholic. No uh, problem. Protestant. Tell me, tell me that you accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your savior, and I will be do my best to tell you where to go. Do you accept the Messiah as your savior? Uh, let me ask you one last time. Okay. No problem. Go ahead. I want to ask you uh, heart by heart, honestly. So you have to answer me uh, with your heart. I am answering you with my heart, if, my friend, from the first second you call me. Trust me. If you find, if any, if any point of your life you find that uh, Christianity is a false, is a it's a false religion also, like I found it in Islam today. Would you like to be a man and commit it and say that you will leave Christianity? My friend, a person who fight a fight like mine, ris risking my life. Do you think I'm risking my life because I don't believe in Jesus? I'm risking my life speaking yes. to you right now. I'm risking my Do you know how many people want to kill me? So my friend, a person who is willing to risk his life, the same as Paul, the same as Mark, the same as Luke, they get the, the disciple of Jesus. They're being killed, they crucified. Do you think those people they they being given as food to the animals? Do you think really those people they are willing to do that and they don't believe? So there is no reason for me to say to you, to talk to you, to spend my time right now. Right now for me it's almost middle of the night. Why in the world I want to leave everywhere? And I am a single guy. I can go have party. I can have fun. I can go in the, to a restaurant. Why in the world I sit with a guy from the middle of nowhere in, 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 in Indonesia? He, he's not from my culture. He's not from my uh, religion, my belief. He shared nothing with me. And I spent all this time just to help him to accept the Messiah. There's one reason, my friend. The Spirit of the Lord is helping me to be a servant. Otherwise, nobody can make me a servant. Nobody can force me to be a servant. You see, our Lord is a Lord of a freedom. He said, be holy like your father. But it's a choice. It's a choice to be holy. It's up to you. So be holy is a choice. Not to be holy is a choice too. So why I am talking to you? Because I am honest. Because I believe. Because I have passion. Because I believe the Lord, the Messiah, is the true Lord. Otherwise, I'm not going to waste my a second with you. Because the second is gone from my life now. You cannot bring it to me with all the money in the world. Nobody can bring me all the years I spent here talking speaking to Muslims, trying to help them. Who can give me those years? More than 20 years of my life. Who is going to bring me those years? Nobody. Nobody. I spend my night when people go outside to party, to, to dinner. They have wedding, they have etc. I stay here. 
Christmas, I stay here. New Year, I stay here. I am here, my friend, for you. Why? Because of Jesus. Because I want you to be saved. And because I believe that there's no better job for me to do in the world better than saving a human being. The Lord, he said, a happiness will be in the kingdom of the Lord for one soul is saved. And your soul today, my friend, I believe is going to be saved. And a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord will be there for you. Do you accept the Messiah? Okay. Yes. I mean to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our brother. Pray for him. Pray for our brother who called me from Indonesia. That the Lord blessed us today. All of us we are blessed. He's blessed and I'm blessed and all of you are blessed. He called me and the Lord, he made him. He guided him. He opened his heart. It's not me, my friend, who brought you to Christ. It's your heart. And the Lord today is giving you a big hug the lord you see we as a christian we don't believe in slavery you are free today you are a child of god you are not a slave of anyone god he freed you uh, I, I i don't know but why i'm crying right now you are crying because you believe it because you felt it a second ago you told me how i know how i know that jesus is going to be real how i know the, the christian they said to me if you believe you feel it and you here we go you are crying because you feel it my friend What kind of feeling is it? Why I am crying? Because this is a wonderful feeling. God, He touched your heart. You do not know why you are crying because you are happy. Because you, because your tears will wash your sin. Your tears will wash the pagan religion of Islam from your from from your body, from your skin, from your eyes. You have a new life. You are now a reborn again Christian. This is the best gift being given to you in your lifetime. There is nothing better, my friend. And about about the question I am asked about you, uh, the church, about the church. The church, my friend, it's a personal choice. Anyone who teach according to the Bible is a good church, which means you go to a priest, you ask him specific questions. If he say to you, if you ask him about Islam, if he say Islam, they believe in the same God, this is a garbage church, doesn't matter what the name. If they are, they claim to be Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox. Anyone who defends the devil is not a Christian. Anyone who is a hypocrite is not a Christian. So, the one, the Bible says, who is the Antichrist is the one who denies the Father and the Son. So, anyone who accepts that Muslims believe in the same God, obviously he is not following the Messiah. Stay away from that church. So, there's a specific questions you ask them. If they have no problem with those religions, then they are not a Christian. Stay away from them. So there is no need for a name to give you. As I saw, said to you, remember the sentence that Jesus he said, from their fruits you shall know them. So wherever you go, examine the fruit of the priest. If he says to you, yes, we believe Christians and Muslims have the same God, and etc., and it's okay to be uh, doing, uh, you know, sleeping around, and uh, God is all merciful, forgive you, it's okay, it's okay to be a prostitute, it's okay to be a drug dealer. This guy is a fraud, he is working for the devil, for he is not telling the truth. So, the only way to know is to examine them yourself, ask serious questions, and then either you are going to be part of this family, which is going to be a holy family, or you will reject them and stay away from them. So what I will do to my Quran, holy Quran then? Well, the Quran, don't burn it, don't throw it away. Use it to bring Christians, bring people to Christ. Show them how crazy it is. As you see, I don't burn my Quran. <laughs> I use it. <laughs> The Quran is helping me to make Muslims leave Islam. If I don't use the Quran, I will be without tools. Quran is my tools as a maintenance person. It's my screwdriver. It's my player. It's my uh, uh, a wrench. It's my hammer. It's This is the Quran. I use it. I destroy the Quran by Quran. I destroy Islam by Islam. And the rest is in the hand of my Lord.
So what kind of Bible I have, uh, I should buy? Uh, is it Indonesian translation okay or I should buy uh, English? Well, I do not know really what is the best translation in Indonesian. Maybe you can ask uh, someone who is a Christian from Indonesia. He can help you in that. But uh, uh, there is many Bible in English. Uh, you know, uh, you can translate. Translation is a translation at the end of the day. There is, a, there is translation better than other translation. Uh, however, uh, you know, for us, we have to find the the, the, uh, the good balance. Like uh, for me, uh, in English, I believe that uh, King James is very uh, balanced translation, even though at the end of the day, translation is not perfect. You know, like the best way to really to enjoy the teaching of Christ is to learn the language. But that is not is possible easy for everybody. However, this is why in Christianity, translation is fine. But there is many good translation. As, as an example, the Bible in Aramaic in plain English. That is a great translation to read and to understand the Bible because it's keeping the original Aramaic and translating that directly. Not a translation because many translations are translation of a translation. Okay. Okay then. I will, I will try to search it uh, search for church first and i will try to contact my christian friends first let them know that uh, i'm living the islam so they can maybe guide me and company to the church happy for you, you my friend happy for i wish i live in indonesia to take you with me you know and have a, a, a coffee in the morning before we go and uh, give you a big hug as a brother i'm older brother than you for sure and uh, you know i will be honored to know you and to know your family and i welcome you right now in front of all the christians look how many christians are happy for you i mean it's amazing you made a lot of people happy today my friend my brother in christ you made a lot of people happy not only you not only you did the cry many of people there because they love you because they are true christian they love you but we love the muslims we will never hate the muslims and from now on you should you should understand that you as a christian you should have a good heart you love everybody you don't hate the muslims you don't hate the Hindus, you don't hate the Buddhas, you love everybody. But love does not mean giving hugs. Love means sharing the truth, and the truth will set you free. Love is the way, my friend, and love always walks side by side with the truth. You love people, you tell them the truth, you don't lie to them. If you love your son, you tell him the truth, so he will not be doing something wrong, will end somewhere bad. This is what love means. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, so remember that always, and I pray... I pray to the Lord uh, that he will he will help you he will take you from your hand and he will open the heart of your family so they will accept you and if you are married I hope that your wife she will accept you and she will she will convert to Christianity too in case she, you are married you have kids and I pray that you will have a wonderful family wonderful future and uh, if you don't know I have my book in, in uh, translated into Indonesian language I'm not sure if you have it you can download it from online uh, maybe the admin can post the link for it uh, in Indonesian Wait, language. Can you send me the link? Okay, thank you. Yeah, and, and they will post it for you in the chat. You can click on it and download it. It's for free. It's an Indonesian language about Quran and science. That will help you too to bring more people to the truth. And the truth will set you free. Happy for you, my friend. God bless you. Okay. God bless you too. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Well, I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to take calls from, from anyone now because it's not easy to speak all this time on a stop. I'm so happy for our, our brothers and sisters in Indonesia. We love them. We care for them. And the Lord is using us is using us in a good way to bring him more more good people fishermen good fishermen and this person God knows how many people he will bring to Christ he might do way better job than me God is good my friend never never say you know what I'm wasting my time Never say that. The second you say that, it's, it's Satan is waiting for you. He's like, he wants you to give up. Like the world is ugly. People are crazy. 
sin everywhere, madness, never give up. When you look at the ocean, you see the waves are coming one after one. And you ask yourself, when the waves will stop coming? When they will give up? But in case you do not know, those waves, they are extremely powerful. They have a lot of energy. And what makes them powerful is that they don't give up. They keep coming. This is how we as a Christians, we should be. Strong like ocean, consistent, never give up. A believer, full of energy, who nothing can stop him. The Bible says that they can kill, they can destroy the body, but they cannot destroy, as long as they can destroy your soul, you are saved. This is where our strength. When the Roman they were feeding the Christians to the animals. Why the Christian at that time did not say, okay, we will forget about Jesus. I mean, why in the world anyone? When I let somebody feed him to the cats, tigers, lions, what is the purpose of this? Just to accept someone his name is Jesus? My friend, for them their life will worth nothing without Jesus. And this is additional proof when they say that Christianity is a lie. It's a big fat lie. Because why those people will sacrifice their life? For what? Why somebody believe in a lie at that time? And remember, he isn't a promise ver you know, virgins and boys who they are naked. No. There is no such a promise. And those are people who witness Jesus. So why the disciple who witnessed Jesus accept such a horrible death? What the benefit they are getting from that? Nothing. Except that they are true believers. True believer who did give a true sacrifice. The Lord is good. His fruit is amazing. And his fruit will show through you. And this is why he said that from their fruits you shall know them. And this is how we judge Muhammad. If Muhammad is a good guy, show me his fruits. Criminal, thief, liar, rapist. You want to know who Jesus? Go and see his fruits. Holy, truthful, sincere, loving, giving, sacrificing. To the point, even when he was on the cross, he said, forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing. Imagine, the Messiah, he is not the kind of hypocrite who say, forgive sin to others. But he himself don't forgive for those who they are doing wrong to him. He prove it. Even in the cross, they are putting nails in his hands, in his feet, crucifying him, torturing him. Yet he is worried about them and he say, forgive them, Father. This is how the Messiah, my friend, is worried about you. You crucify him every day. You put nails in his hands, in his feet every day by your sin. And then he say, forgive them, Father. And this is what the Muslim don't want to understand. That when we say that our sin is forgiven by, by Jesus, not because Jesus, he gave us a ticket of forgiveness. Do whatever you want. This is not true. This is in Islam, actually. In Islam, you do all kinds of sin. You say Shahada, you are saved. In this Christianity, there is no such a thing. Every day, the Messiah is hoping good for us. And if you want to be known by the Messiah, you better be known by your fruits, not by your color, not by your ethnic not by your language. This is the last thing the Messiah he cared for. For all of us, we are children of God. No one is better than anyone. No black, no white, no Asian, 
no Greek, no Hebrew, no free, no slave, no male, no female. For by him we are united. The same as today we were united with our brother from Indonesia. Different language, different culture. At the end of the world. But yet Christ, he can make him cry and he can make me cry. For we are both made by him and he loves us. Is it important to be Baptist? Absolutely. However, if you could not, still you are saved by the Messiah. As an example, when the Messiah was on the cross, there was a person next to him on the cross. He accepted the Messiah. The Messiah he promised him to be saved for he believed from his heart. So baptism is, um, is you should do as soon as you can do it. But this is not the only thing make you Christian as we learn it is losing connection all right guys I think my internet is going is suffering from some problems for a second I lost connection I hope I will not lose it again so I'm not going to stay uh, I'm not going to stay longer as long as the internet is going bad am I heard now Am I heard? Do you hear me? Let me text. I think the text come faster. All right. All right. Well, I'm not going to stay longer because I see my internet is getting, getting disconnected. That's mean there is something wrong. Uh, but I'm happy for our brother here today. And I hope that this message is delivered to as many as we can from Indonesia. And remember, uh, that most of those Muslims in Indonesia, Philippines, all those countries, they are very good people. They have no idea. They have no idea. They are just born there. I mean, if you are born there, you will be like them. So we need to love them. We need to share the truth with them. And the Lord, he will open doors and he will bring many and many people to him. All right? Uh, <clears throat> well, it's not only my job, it's your job to help me too. Download the video, add title, add subtitle to your language. Let people hear, let people learn. The truth, my friend, the truth will set you free. And the truth is Jesus. Uh, we are just people who share a little bit of knowledge. But the truth is there with the Lord. We pray that the Lord will open more doors for us so we can share the truth with everybody in many languages. Uh, actually, I don't even remember why and how people from Indonesia, they were start listening to my videos. I'm, I'm not sure why, but I believe it was a gift to me from the Lord. I love those people, really. They made me more happy and more uh, uh, excited in what I do. I'm doing this for many, many years. But having those Indonesian people who they are really wonderful people, is giving me special pleasure because this is the biggest Islamic country ever and if we can reach to them we will save hundreds of millions out of Islam and we will bring them to Christ that will be an amazing uh, mission so we pray for them we pray for their family. We pray for our brother here who accepted Christ today and he was crying. And we pray more people will come to Christ as soon as possible. I'm not going to stay longer. Uh, I, I want to say thanks for all of you. And please don't forget to download the video. Share it with your friends. My videos are for free. It's not made for me. I don't care if you have a million subscribers because of my videos. Good for you. What is important for me is to share the message. And when you download the video, share it in your channel. Uh, if somebody accepted Christ, you receive the blessing because because of your post in the video, that person, he learned about the Messiah and he learned the truth. And the Lord will reward you.
Thank you, Lord, for having those great, great people here. My family, who I never met. And I'm really blessed to have a huge family who care for me. I wish I can know them all. I wish I can meet them. But for sure, we will meet one day in his kingdom. All of us. Thank you, all of you. I really appreciate you. And I appreciate my Lord for sending such a good people to be part of my mission. Thank you, Lord, for sending this brother to call me today. It was a gift I don't deserve. For he gave me a blessing. Thank you all. Take care.